GATA is uh, the Genetic Aortic Disease Association of Canada. Um, it was formerly the, known as the Canadian Marfan Association, but as more and more aortic disorders have been uh, recognized, the name has expanded to include uh, those other disorders. The congenital program at uh, Peter Monk has a long history of uh, taking care of patients with Marfan syndrome, with uh, inherited other forms of inherited aortopathies. Um, we transition patients from sick kids to here, and uh, patients are referred here from across the province and uh, sometimes ac uh, across the country. Um, so it was quite a natural fit for PMCC to be hosting this meeting. Some disorders are syndromic, meaning they have manifestations uh, in other parts, in other uh, organ systems of the body. So such as um, Marfan syndrome, where the ocular system and the skeletal system are involved, or Lewis Deed syndrome. Um, other, the not, there, there are also um, aortic disorders, though, that are non-syndromic. So familial forms of uh, hereditary aortopathy, where uh, patients look uh, uh, they don't have any typically unusual features from the surface. They look uh, completely unremarkable, um, but they have a hereditary type of aortic disease, which uh, can be quite uh, malignant. So um, w we know that 20% of patients with a thoracic aneurysm, for example, do have a family history of aortic uh, disease or uh, other aortic aneurysms or dissections. And if we test them for uh, genetic conditions, we will find uh, a mutation leading to the uh, cause in about 25% of patients. This conference is really to, um, first of all, bring together the community of physicians who are interested in and look after these patients. So we're a group of uh, cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, vascular surgeons, uh, radiologists, and geneticists all uh, from different disciplines, all interested in the aorta. Um, one of the primary goals is to inform the general cardiologist about heritable aortic disease, to inform trainees about heritable aortic disease, um, and to bring together this community. It's a niche community, so there aren't that many opportunities for the scientists and the uh, researchers to get together and really focus on this uh, particular uh, area, so we're very excited for that. Um, another goal of the conference is actually um, patient education. So the second day of the meeting is uh, for patients and families, and we'll have three sessions, one on genetics, one on medical management, cardiology session, and one on surgical management of aortic disease for patients and their families, and then we'll do workshops uh, on each of those topics as well. Uh, one of the main issues with aortic disease is that it's often silent until a catastrophic aortic complication has happened. So if these patients are um, not identified early, then they would present with an aortic dissection or an acute aortic catastrophe requiring emergency operation and um, possibly being fatal. Uh, once the condition is identified in a family, then we have the opportunity to uh, screen family members both with imaging and then also with genetics if a specific mutation is identified. Um, and in those, uh, in those members, we can be fortunate enough to treat them medically with better blood pressure control and then also offer them prophylactic surgery electively before a catastrophic aortic event has happened. Um, patients who have elective surgery do far better both uh, after surgery and then in the long run than those who come with dissection.
I think it's one of the most uh, exciting areas uh, in cardiac surgery, um, both from a scientific perspective, the number of genes uh, that we know lead to uh, aortic disorders is increasing uh, all the time, and the possibilities for targeted therapeutics is also starting to uh, happen. Um, and also from a surgical perspective, um, the uh, advances to treat uh, aortic disease uh, from the root all the way through the arch and the thoracoabdominal aorta have really evolved over the past few years, uh, expanding into endovascular approaches, hybrid approaches, and then uh, better, better open techniques as well. Someone with a uh, thoracic aortic aneurysm, um, one of the easiest things to uh, do is ask for a detailed family history from that patient. Um, if the family history is suspicious of uh, multiple members having aortic surgery or aneurysms or dissections or even just dying suddenly or unexpectedly at young ages, that's a concerning, that should be a trigger uh, that this could be, this patient could have a heritable aortic disorder. Um, if they're young, or if they have other systemic manifestations on physical exam, that's another major clue. And if one of these patients is identified, then I think it's quite important to refer them for genetic uh, testing, if appropriate, and then also to screen their family members with a transthoracic echo or MRI to look at their aorta. Um, if aneurysms are identified, it's uh, much easier to follow them and uh, keep, you know, keep an eye on their aorta uh, when you know about an aneurysm being there. Well, patients with genetically triggered aortic uh, aneurysms, um, the number one thing is to be identified as such. So if, if family members, if there are patients with young family members with aneurysms or dissections, then they should seek out uh, being screened themselves for aneurysm disease. Um, if they have a genetically triggered uh, aortopathy, then the most important thing is to have regular follow-up with uh, imaging to keep an eye on their aorta. Um, essentially, aortas may stay stable or they may grow in size. And for those who grow in size, if they reach a specific threshold, then they should have prophylactic surgery to repair their aneurysm. Um, these, uh, Peter Monk Cardiac Center is, um, you know, one of the leading centers uh, dealing with patients with heritable aortic disease. And we have a multidisciplinary group here that takes care of these patients that offers them both medical medical management, genetic screening, as well as uh, surgical repair if indicated. One of the areas of focus of Peter Monk Cardiac Center is in aortic disease. Um, the Aortic Center of Excellence here uh, houses a group of, uh, it's a multidisciplinary group of uh, physicians with interest in aortic disease as well as uh, scientifically. So uh, we have, you know, leading researchers doing basic science as well as clinical and translational science uh, trying to identify why aneurysms happen, how we can manipulate um, how we can target therapies to prevent the growth of aneurysms. And we have uh, both the medical expertise as well as the surgical expertise among the cardiologists, the vascular surgeons, the cardiac surgeons, and the imaging uh, physicians here to look after these patients.